As we approach the halfway point of the trimester, all things begin to wear on us. And we begin to experience different stages of loss. For some, it's a loneliness and panic of not being able to socialize with real people. For others, it's the anxiety of not being able to work out in an organized fashion. Because apparently curling your dog is not enough. Others, the results are more physical in nature. All this will end, push forward, this will recede in time. <sighs> like my hairline. Welcome to week four. You'll note that this week is considerably shorter than previous weeks. We only have three brief portions to do. So treat it as a way to catch up on anything in the past and just build confidence or perhaps be able to take more of a break moving forward. The vocab list seven and quiz six are the same format as before. Complete the form by Wednesday, take the quiz by Friday. One question that I've had on the list are the phrases what it is and what it isn't. It's a, another way of saying synonym and antonym. It's just a little bit more broad for people who perhaps want to come up with an example rather than just picking a synonym. The rhetorical appeals practice is simply an expansion of our kind of post from before. So your instructions are to read this practice prompt, which we did four or five times in trimester one. It is from President George Bush after the 9-11 attack. And you can write either one body paragraph or you can copy and paste this outline to your own document or private submission and put in your own information instead. For example, Bush uses which appeal? Logic, emotion, or ethics to argue. What do you think he's trying to say with that? For the line Bush states, comma, quote from text, you can use your own verb, argues, maintains, exemplifies, illustrates, whichever word you want to go with, and then just take the exact line and put it right within this space with, of course, the attached page number. For analysis, this is an effective use of the appeal, and you state the, the appeal again you've used because, all right, why does it work? Is it emotional because it makes you cry? Is it ethical because it gives you a strong sense of justice? Come up with that answer, but feel free to use this outline as much as you need to for this. And finally, private submission or attached Google Doc. Do not type it here, Chris. This is a public comment. Everyone is going to see it. All right. So those are your three parts for the week. Good luck. Ask questions moving forward. And we got this.